XFC 17 was live this past Friday here on HDNet. Your home for MMA. Michael Chavello and Pat Militich were in Jackson, Tennessee with the call and the wrap up. Well, what a night we saw here tonight in Jackson, Tennessee. XFC 17 was a happening, Pat. First of all, the female fight. So much bad blood between them. Felice Herrig, Patricia Vidonik, and Herrig beating Vidonik at her own game, taking her down seven times to win a unanimous decision. Yeah, she absolutely did. And Vidonik saying the bad things she did, treating her like the Anna Kornikova of MMA, saying she depended on her looks for everything she'd done. She came out, she beat the grappler at her own game. As you said, put her on her back seven times. Just outpowered her and out techniqued her. Certainly a huge improvement for Felice since her last loss against Carla Esparza. Then in what was the fight of the night and something truly special, we're privileged to have commentated Nick Newell over Chris Coggins. The second round, Pat, we thought Newell was a goner with a rear naked choke. It was an epic story of survival. Yeah, the referee was hanging out over both of them thinking Nick Newell was going to be a goner real quick. Imagine, if you will, having somebody on your back choking you. You've got two hands to fight it. He's only got one. He had to position his body and deal with it with his neck to be able to fight those chokes off. He did it miraculously and then came out and won the third round and won the fight. First time he has ever been out of the first round in his career. His first ever three-rounder, notorious Nick Neal, now 7-0. and oh. Semi-main event only lasted 47 seconds. That's all it took former Brazilian Muay Thai champion Marlon Moraes to knock out Jared Carr. Moraes showing he's absolutely one of the elite strikers in the game today in any weight division. Angles, power, great footwork. That kid is sick. And in our main event, it's a wrap. Eric Reynolds and Luciano de Santos went toe to toe in basically a kickboxing battle. It's a wrap, beating two consecutive Brazilians, both by decision. It was impressive, but very close. Yeah, it was a very close fight. Could have gone either way. And, you know, Dos Santos controlled inside, as we talked about, throwing vicious elbows, vicious knees. Reynolds controlled from the outside and won the fight with his boxing and head movement. Well, folks, that's it. It's a wrap from here in Jackson, Tennessee. Back to you, Kenneth and Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael and Patrick. All right, let's take one more look at Nick Newell because that was just freaky, crazy tough, wasn't it, guys? Yes. Look at him. He's out. He's out. No, he's not out. Look, they're checking on him, but then he wakes up again, I guess. <laughs> wow, this... This fight, he really had to pull through. This was going from first round yeah. finishes to suddenly a three round hardcore fight for him. That was uh, really cool. And it's good for him to know now that he can go the he distance. He can go the distance. He's still unbeaten. Watch Inside MMA live every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern on HDNet, your home for MMA. Join the conversation on Twitter, Facebook, and online at HD.net.